Majority of us have been in Fresno for a long time. You know, I came from Ukraine, but I still lived all my, you know, life here in the United States, here in Fresno and Clovis area. Um, we saw just uh, the opportunities to grow, and uh, one of those things was okay. Where can a new church start if we don't have the finances for our own building, mm -hmm. and maybe we actually don't want to do that, but yet we want to, you know, spread the gospel, be a church for the community. And one of the ideas as we started doing our research, we visited Bakersfield, talked to some guys who started new churches there, Modesto, and um, this idea of uh, doing church plans in a school, more specifically high school, because high schools just seem like they're the, um, they're really involved in the community, mm -hmm. right? A little bit more so than the elementary school or middle school. And um, Pastor Dave, having you know almost 20 years experience at Clovis West, he was a basketball coach there mm -hmm. and all of that. And then me having opportunity to uh, work at Fort Miller Middle School for eight years. Um, and then Pastor Paul was actually in higher ed with uh, Fresno Pacific and some other UCs uh, throughout the state. We kind of said, okay, this, this is a unique opportunity for us to do that. Primary is we want to um, shepherd the people that God has given us. So this is priority number one. Mm -hmm. Priority number one is the 250 people that come to us on Sunday mornings. Uh, they are number one. We're, we're responsible for them. Right. But then as we study the gospel, as we study about God and try to get a high view, we understand that theology, right, that study of God is not theology unless it moves you to do something. Part of our vision was, uh, you know, even our name is High View Bible Churches. Do we have a high view of ourselves? Or, you know, there's a lot of jokes going about that. <laughs> but the idea is that we want to uh, have a high view of God spread to people. We believe in expositional preaching, mm -hmm. which means a, a verse by verse type of idea where we're not big on topical things. Uh, we, we're scared to do topical things because it, um, we don't have any bounds. Mm -hmm. You know, when you do topical things, you're kind of uh, at the mercy of that topic. But when you do expositional, you are bounded by the verses in the Word of God. Mm -hmm. So that kind of gives us comfort, and we know that we're, we're bound by the Bible and not by the events and other things. Not to say that we don't address them, because mm -hmm. Scripture does address them, but we rather have Scripture address the topics of the day yeah. rather than have the topics of the day address Scripture. Right. Yeah, my uh, my dad was actually a pastor in Ukraine as well. Okay. And the funny thing is, I didn't really think about it until Highview came about that he actually started his own church there as well in Ukraine. Okay. So it was kind of unique to put the two pieces together. I guess the apple doesn't fall that far from the tree as <laughs> also. But I didn't even think about that until I started explaining them Highview, and they're like, "Oh yeah, that's what kind of what dad did, you know, in, in Ukraine." We kind of had a group of people here, and uh, at that time there was two Russian-speaking churches here in town. Mm -hmm. I believe right now there's three Russian-speaking churches in town. Uh, so that's kind of the church that we went to at first. That's, you know, uh, where I grew up um, there. And in fact, until this day, my dad and my mom go there uh, to this Russian-speaking church. Uh, but then after I had the opportunity to do missions work with them, I transitioned to River Park and how I got to know these guys here. I went to Fresno State and I was doing civil engineering and all meanwhile I'm slowly starting to do things with these guys you mm -hmm. know I'm slowly starting to do missions so slowly they're giving me opportunities to teach opportunities to study and then I'm realizing you know what civil engineering is not for me I had a chance to do some field trips to different firms I just don't see myself doing that um, meanwhile I'm already working at Fort Miller as well so I'm thinking okay I like teaching um, I already took a lot of math classes. I already have people at Formula saying, hey, get your degree, you can start teaching here. So I started um, uh, pursuing my math degree at Fresno State. Mm -hmm. I was six classes away, but I already got married at 19. I have a baby uh, on the way at that time. And the six classes left, I had to make a decision. Either I get a job or I drop my job and take these classes. Because you know, the closer you get to your degree, um, the, hard, the last options they have for schedule. Mm -hmm. 
And at that point, I kind of was at a crossroads. Okay, what do I do? You know, I need to support my family, but I want to finish my schooling. And that's when I heard about Fresno Pacific. They had a Christian ministry degree, um, but it, it's a degree completion program that they have mm -hmm. to where you only meet one time a week. The rest of the classes are online and you're able to finish your degree. So I went from civil engineering to math to say, no, I, I feel God called me into ministry. I have desire to teach. I just didn't know what I wanted to teach yet. Mm -hmm. And even though I love math, but I definitely realized that I want to teach God's word.